Hey guys, Booligan here with Booligan Airsoft and Shooting Sports, bringing you a little bit of a pistol update. This is a mild project build, nothing too crazy on this. I don't really, this is more of a tinkering than a project. But this is my Salient Arms 2011 High Kappa from Evic.com. In stock form, I really like this gun. Um, it fit very solidly in my hand. The performance was good. I was able to use it at um, some, uh, some mild CQB, and it, it just works really, really well. Um, and it has been very reliable for me. But, you know me, gotta trick stuff out a little bit. In this case, I tricked it out by adding some real, uh, real wood 1911 grip panels. So the cool part about this one is it's one of the few high kappas that actually has removable grip panels. Um, it required just a little bit of a modification because of the little flare there at the bottom. I had to cut the bottom off and sand it to shape, um, but it they went on pretty easily, all things considered. It is thick. I have big hands. Um, like they, most guns are too, the grips are too small for me. And this thing you can see, it barely fits my hands. It is actually kind of perfect. It almost feels a little bit like a Desert Eagle. It's just a big pistol. I like it. Um, up front, the bottom obviously here, you got my favorite pistol light, the Olight PL2 Valkyrie. This thing's amazingly bright. It works great. You can access it with one finger. Do strobe with two. I love this thing. It goes on if you're on my channel at all. You see I put this thing on a lot of guns. But the other addition I did was just the other day. Went ahead and figured that, you know, mounted red dot sights are all the rage these days. So why not keep up with that trend and add it to this pistol, make it more, you know, set up for a primary roll instead of a secondary. So what I did, this is a silverback mount, which I got from Evic a long time ago. It's a silverback Glock mount, a, um, uh, Tokyo Marui style Glock mount. I don't even have this part anymore. I haven't really found it for sale much anywhere else, but I have initially modified it to fit uh, ASG pistols, the CZ um, series. And then I modified it again to fit a Dan Wesson 715. And then now I've modified it again to fit this. I just keep taking more and more material off of it. Can't really take much more off of it at this point. But how it's mounted, I actually shaved off the entire back of the uh, sight mount in order to fit over the rear sight. You see how those kind of little gap there. And then I just drilled and tapped a screw in the rear sight and drilled and tapped a screw in the frame. So it's mounted extremely securely on there. And then it's got a GMP uh, doctor style red dot sight on here. So all together, I have a very chunky, I mean, this is a very beefy pistol. Uh, getting a holster custom made for this is going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I've got a guy in mind for it who did some of the custom holsters for some of my other um, project pistols. Um, but you have a very, very comfortable, very accurate and easy to shoot, you know, primary pistol. Obviously this thing is not designed for, you know, last ditch backup secondary. It is, it's a, it's a primary pistol. You can build something like this yourself using parts from evic.com and just a little bit of know-how. Just doesn't take too much. This guy just adjusted it with a belt sander. Just a Harbor Freight $30 belt sander and just shaped it and took some time and shaped it and put it on and shaped it a little more until I got a fit that I was happy with. Drills and uh, tap sets are not too expensive. You just have to, you know, figure out how to use them and it's really not that hard. I mean, even just adding the wood grips to this was a piece of cake, just a little bit of sanding on the bottom and they fit perfectly. So get your own pistols out there, customize them, make them your own, hit the field with them. Something I don't do nearly often enough, but with a couple of cool new CQB venues opening up here in the Salt Lake area, I will be seeing me with stuff like this and a couple of other projects here very soon. So thanks for watching.